Now at this time, I'm going to go ahead and create the assembly that combines all three parts, the rubber uh, stamp itself, the neoprene cushion, and also the wooden holder. So first, I'm going to go back to the wooden holder part itself, as you see here. And I'll collapse a few things so we can make some uh, cleanups here. Go ahead and save the file one more time. And now I'll come down with the new, I'll make a new assembly from part. So I'll click on this. And it's going to open up a manager, window manager here that's going to allow me to create a new part. Actually, it's going to bring me straight into creating the part itself, the assembly part itself. It's already got this holder selected because that was the last uh, part I was in. I'm going to go ahead and check that off. And it's going to come out here and place the rubber holder itself. Now it's pretty good. So I'm going to make sure that the F is selected, which means the part is fixed. It's not going to move. And now I'll come back to the assembly and I'll insert the components. So obviously the next part we need to create is the neoprene cushion and load that into the assembly. So I'm going to come down here and place it kind of below here and select that. And then I'll rotate the screen up like this and I'm going to click on that surface and I'll select Mate. And when I do that, the Mate Manager is going to come up over here in the Feature Manager and I'm going to select on Coincident and select that top uh, part as you see right there and check that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the face here on the wooden holder and I'll select the face here on the rubber stamp and check that off as well. With that done, I'll now select on this face and this uh, the rubber, excuse me, the wooden holder and select on this part of the neoprene and it moves that part directly underneath that. Okay, I'll go ahead and check all this off. Go back over here to insert components and now I'm going to grab the rubber stamp itself and drag it down here. Now this is going to create a little bit of a different challenge here because the part's upside down. So we'll go ahead and accept that. We'll rotate the screen up. Again, we'll select Mate. We'll select Mate Command here. Opens up the Mate Manager here in, this in, in the uh, Feature Manager. Then we'll come over here and click on this. But this time we're going to go ahead and flip that so it rotates the part around. That doesn't like it's done that. If I rotate it around, you can see it is upside down. So we'll check that off. We'll come back over here to coincide again. We'll select the face of the wooden holder and we'll select this edge right here as you see. And it makes those two up exactly like that. Well, to finish this, we'll select this uh, other side of the wooden holder. Use our arrow keys to rotate up. Zoom up to this face using our middle mouse button to roll up to it. And there you see it's done that. I'll accept that. Go ahead and hit the F key and Control 7. And you can see my part in 3D. Check off the mates here. Let's rotate this up a little bit. And there you can see my rubber stamp assembly that I created from my three parts in SolidWorks. Go ahead and save this. And we'll call this guy the rubber stamp assembly. Let's do EMP. And we'll go ahead and hit enter, making sure it's in my SolidWorks files directory. And there you have it, a rubber stamp designed in SolidWorks using the three parts. Now we're going to go on to making this really fun project and making this really fun assembly here.